bro, what are you doing? Bad emotion, bad What's going on fam? It's your boy Jay Sama and today I'm back with another episode of Culture. Okay, from your boy. Now, um, Canon Culture, in case some of you did not know, is the show in which we take something going on in the entertainment industry and we kind of just dissect it and we see really how can we learn from the narrative of whatever the hell is going on. Usually I dissect movies and trailers and TV shows and actors and actresses doing stuff and then give my commentary on that and, you know, some other stuff around that and just, you know, how can we better the things that are going on? That's basically what it is. How can we better the narrative? The narrative. If you can't tell, I'm sweating because I'm nervous about this episode, fam. I'm nervous and as you guys can tell from the title and from the thumbnail, I'm not happy. So I got a new format in which I want to do this uh, type of video and boom! There we go. We're going to put up the thumbnail just so that way y'all can see what's going on. So today we're talking specifically about Bonk Gang um, and, and Danielle Bergoli. Now, I don't, I'm not drama alert. I don't want to make this a thrash piece about, yo, this guy ain't shit and this, that, and the other thing. And how could she do this and blah, blah, blah. But I do, do want to talk about the fact that this is going to um, affect uh, my opinions of Danielle Brigoli because I think she's a great up-and-coming artist. I think she has a lot to learn. I think she can really um, kind of push this industry a little bit. Now, I say that while also saying, you know what? What's the worst that can happen? I mean, we already got Instagram people and, you know, Twitter people all over the place just making names for themselves. I just don't see why anybody else can't do it, so I don't have anything against Danielle Brigoli. Um, This other guy... Uh, Bonk Gang, um, him I do got an issue with because they make it seem like he makes content, uh, but but really he he doesn't. Um, I've never been a fan of his. I think uh, he's a a waste of human flesh. Um, but that's just my opinion. I don't I don't see how people find any appeal in anything that he does ever. Um, I've I've only heard one of his songs, um, which I quickly erased from my memory, and I don't think. Um, I'm not going to, you know what, I'm, I'm going to take that back. I don't think it's that he needs to exist. I think he doesn't need to exist. I think he just doesn't need to be in the public eye. Um, because this guy seems to be very troubled with, which, by the way, Bong Gang, Instagram star, couple million followers or whatever. Bro, what are you doing? In an age where we just have all these black people just being gunned down all the time and all sorts of crazy stuff going on and rappers just beefing with each other one specifically and then an, another one of my favorites just gets offed in the middle of florida now first of all i do want to let you guys know this young man is from florida okay he's from jacksonville florida and i gotta tell you right now the only time i've ever heard the wildest shit i've ever heard just happens to come from niggas in florida is that a coincidence maybe maybe not i don't know you decipher that. I'm just saying the wildest stuff that I have personally heard, once again, the wildest stuff that I have ever heard usually comes from Florida. I'm just saying maybe the water's a little different down there. Maybe y'all a little, little, you know, kooky because of the weather, you know, every now, every, you know, 30 minutes, y'all got a new hurricane. So I'm just, just a little confused. That's all. So, um, essentially this video has surfaced and I on a, all, almost feel a little cringy about playing it for you guys just because I don't know what type of rabbit hole it's going to go down. So this video surfaced on Twitter. Um, so this gentleman uh, posted this video of Bonk uh, essentially getting some neck for some, from uh, some girl. And uh, this guy puts the caption, you know, this guy's 22 and the catch me outside girl is 15, which... Is she, is she still 15? Like, I feel like I've been calling her 15 for the past two years. Like, I just, ugh. But she, whatever. Um, so, if, I'm just going to go ahead and play this video. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio because we don't need to hear all that. But I do want to point out a few things aside from the fact that this is probably a very disgusting video with whatever is going on. This isn't Danielle. This isn't Danielle. I'm going to tell you right now. The eye makeup, whack. Red lipstick, whack. Blonde hair, 
whack, not Danielle. But then as we scroll down, we actually see her respond in this tweet. I ain't never met this man in my life and I have a big ass tattoo on my shoulder. You people dumb as hell. Now, if we go ahead and click, Danielle does indeed have a tattoo on her right shoulder. But then again, pictures are altered. This might be her left shoulder. And I got to say in this video where, uh, well, hold on. That's my Twitter. Now we're not trying to do this. I'm not on trial here. I'm not on trial. Okay. Uh, uh, wait, here we go. There we go. All right. I'm not editing that out. That's a waste of time. As we can see here, the girl in question don't have said tattoo. It's, it's that simple. It's that simple. Or is it? Now I'm not trying to make a mountain out of an anthill here, but just in case, I just want to talk just a little bit about this man, Bonk. Now, this man has been wildin'. He's been on a bender. I don't know what is going on with this young man, but I assure you that whatever he is going through, it must be difficult. And I only say this because I read more and more stuff online and people like to speculate, you know what, maybe he just wasn't ready for the money. You know, people get money and they, they act different because it makes us destructive to not only those around us, but so destructive to ourselves, you know? And so this might be a situation where he may not have to control all of the things that are going around uh, in, in his circle. But you know what? There's also nobody to keep this man in check. There's nobody saying, hey, bro, I don't think this is a good idea or anything. And this is really what today's lesson is, is when it comes to different things like this, in my personal experience, you are an... Uh, a culmination of the five closest people around you. And I say that because the five closest people that you spend the most time with, uh, they help influence you and shape you in certain ways. And maybe this is one of those circumstances where this guy is clearly the breadwinner in his friend group and he doesn't want it. Nobody wants to disturb that. Nobody wants to say, hey man, you know what? I don't think this is a good idea. I don't think you should film this. I don't think you should do this. I don't think you should do that. But, you know, I, who am I? I'm just a nigga with 3,000 subs, you know? I'm not somebody to go and tell somebody what their friend group should be like because I have not made very good decisions. But therefore, I think by making these mistakes, I might know a little something on how to make the right mistakes. I'm just saying, you know what? I don't, I'm just a nigga with 3,000 subs. You know, this man has over four point some odd million followers. What do I know? I must not be doing something correct, you know? Uh, maybe I should be out here snatching people's purses and just yelling a whole lot of gang shit while running and posting said thievery on social media. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. You know what? I, I clearly, clearly have this situation twisted. So um, this this video has turned from talking about this man to talking about me because I must... I absolutely have to be doing something wrong. Here I am making content that I think is going to better the world when really all I gotta do... It's just FaceTime with some big booty hoes and play some of the top 40 songs and do Instagram sketches and, you know, just steal people's shit and start fights with other Instagram and YouTubers. Like, I must be doing something wrong. But then again, this is just the life that I live and this is the path that I'm going down. So, but I want to know you guys' opinion down below. Uh, is this, is this something that you guys care about? Like, do you think this is Danielle in this video? Okay. But, um, really I'm gonna turn it over to one more video that has already come out. Um, that actually came out yesterday where Danielle is actually responding to the kissing video. So I haven't actually heard this. This comes from, uh, Domus Live What's News. up fams? So we got to go talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button and shout out to my game. Gang, gang. Okay, now, let's not do this. this video left and right. That's left interesting. And right. Uh huh. They've been DMing it to me. They've been uh -huh. tweeting it at me. Uh huh. And Book, we need answers, bruh. We need answers. Maybe. Because, uh, Maybe. They ain't trying to throw Book in the fire, man. Now that I look at it, this man has a million. This man has a million subs. Okay, so he's clearly reporting on this type of stuff all the time. And honestly. You know what? I don't even need to see the rest of this. I just want to say that not just these two people, but Monk Inc. I I just himself, okay, is not doing anything to further legitimacy in online content. Now, I say that because there's already a lot of people in mainstream media that don't think YouTubers 
uh, are real entertainers. There's already a, a lot of people that don't think that online entertainers should get paid in general because you're making free content. Um, there's also a lot of people in the industry who think it's not really worth investing in online. Online is just a fad. It is going to die. But really, when you look at it, online is setting the trends to how everything is developed in the entertainment industry, which is so interesting to me because you have people like this who are really just not good for the culture, not good for the digital culture, fam. And I just, I just can't vibe with that, man. So, and, and you know what? I just wish he would turn around and just do something different or you know, make a more positive influence. I, I don't know. I don't know what I want this man to do, but I just, I just want him to not be all over the place, if that make any sense. So, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty much done with this video. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I just, I'm interested to know. Oh.